Hello to my Capricorns. Capricorns, happy first quarter moon phase. Happy first quarter moon phase. We're going to have a pink moon this cycle. We're going to have a pink moon. We're going to have a pink full moon in Scorpio, right? So we talked about the pink moon before and just how you want to remove your rose-colored glasses um, a way in advance. Uh, a moon in Scorpio can bring about a lot of emotions, right? Like right now, currently, the moon is in Leo, right? If you watch this video on the 16th, the moon is in Leo, right? So you just want to know, right, first of all, recognize that your vulnerability is your strength. And this is where you're having a real conversation with yourself about um, unhealthy and wounded emotions that may have been caused by other people or that you may have caused other people, right? So let's get into it. So as we start to think about removing rose-colored glasses um, during this um, during this this cycle, um, and and what does that look like? You know what what is that what does that look like? Um, yeah, what what does it look like? April 23rd, April 23rd, April 23rd in 2024, right? So that full moon, right? Removing those rose colored glasses. What does that look like for you? What does it look like for you? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm talking to you wherever Capricorn is in your birth chart. The moon is in Leo. You felt the moon in Cancer already. You may be still feeling that, feeling like you may need a little bit extra nurturing, um, and pouring into yourself. So whatever that looks like for you, remember Mercury is also retrograde. Mercury is a, a wonderful time. I know a lot of people hear negative stuff about Mercury, but it's a wonderful time to increase, like start picking up books, maybe taking a class, like learning, like, uh, investing in your education, knowledge and learning, right? So we do have digital journals and digital calendars below in the description, so for those of you all who want to track your journey, right, um, and learn something, learn some new things. This is a great time to do it because you already hear about what you can't do. You can't do this, you can't do that, so on and so forth. But that's partially true. You want to slow down and like if you're doing contracts or anything like that, slow down and reread them or may have somebody else to read them. Or if you're traveling, like double check your double check your information and that kind of stuff. But things don't come to a halt. Planets, when they retrograde, they don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace, but it gives you an opportunity to slow down. And in the case of Mercury, Mercury is the communication messenger planet, also knowledge learning, sibling relationships, trade, travel, commerce, factual memory, and also opinion of things. So when we get to this pink moon, you don't want the, the, pink, the rose colored glasses to be forcibly removed. You want them to be gently removed. The Justice card came out first. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, and also the Ace of Swords, right? So karmic relationships are being broken. That's right. People who have done you some kind of injustice in the past, or they may have felt like you've done them some kind of an injustice in the past, those relationships are being broken. This is the year of eight. It's the year of wealth. No matter how much you look at it, forward and backwards, backwards and forward, it looks the same, right? So um, for you, you can kind of sort of compare it in a sense to a palindrome. A palindrome is a term for word or phrase that's spelled the same way backwards and forwards, like words like level, kayak, civic, radar. It can also uh, um, include number sequences, dates, and times that also may be palindromes as well, like 1111, right? So you, no matter if you look at it, read it forward or backwards, it's still 1111, right? Kayak or civic or level, spelled the same way you look at it back. It's called a palindrome. So sources say the more you look at it and you realize I don't have to have the pink glasses, pink rose colored glasses forcibly removed from my eyes, that is a karmic relationship, <laughs> Period. There's no and ifs or buts about it, right? Here we also have the Ace of Wands here. Um, we also have the Five of Swords. There's two types of situations in particular. They love arguing. They love the sword fighting, going back and forth. They like taking people back and forth to court. They just embattled in themselves. Here we also have the Seven of Wands here. Here we also have the, the five of wands here. Like I see these people right here fighting. They love fighting. 
They that's how some people thrive off of friction. Some of, think about some of your exes, some of your ex friends, ex love interests. Um, they if if it's not some kind of back and forth fighting and like there's people who like they get dressed up to go to court because they it's like they don't have anything else to do with their day except running back and forth, suing people, lying on people. There's some people who get tickled by a bunch of arguing. There's some people who are just in that space. They're just so. There's such internal warfare going on. So it's just like, I'm breaking all of those things up. That's where your breakthrough is going to come in. You're moving through a rite of passage of just understanding that some people, they are just so embattled in their spirit. You got to recognize that when your stomach is in knots, just being before they even open up their mouth, something about their energy causes, causes um, anxiety for you. Right. And if you've been in so many of those situations, once you, it's like a person who is fasting, right? So that's why I talk about like, try to compare, like, what are you giving up during these retrogrades? I try to tie a lot of things in to help people like to help change their mindset of always thinking I can't do this. That's the dark side of things, the light side of what you can do when these planets go retrograde. Like you can choose to wake up on the right side of your bed every day, the light side of life. Okay, who God, my eyes are open. Okay, so what? who can I help today? How can I sharpen myself? So I definitely see your prayer and your meditation life increasing, not just your prayer life, right? Your prayer and meditation. So that means I need to sit down with myself and recognize there are some energies that are, they are on an all out battle and all out war, right? Within themselves. And they're trying to, those energies will try to bully you. But guess what? Your breakthrough is going to come in because you're not giving it any air. Every time it comes up in your spirit and you feel like being around certain types of energies, I don't feel safe. I feel always like I'm in reactive mode, like I'm in survival mode. Like think about if you've ever been in a space where you were in fight or flight mode. Same thing, same thing. So at this stage, somebody should already know what it feels like because Source is saying you can defend your decision to move on from these types. This is where your third eye is open. You can defend your decision to move on from these types of energies without even coming across as defensive because you're going to let them fall in the same fire pit that they set for you. You're going to let them. You're not going to sit there. Well, let me pray for them and let me, you know, see if I can just warm up to maybe we can talk. Those energies don't want to talk. They're in battle with themselves and it's going to come out as like a flame torch on you. In other words, look at it this way, Capricorn. Some people you try to warm up to, you try to be nice, and they actually see it as a weakness. They want an all-out you extinguishing their flame so they can play victim. So it's just saying you're not going to give people that. Leave them alone. That fire cannot exist without air. Your air would be your universe. Talking about it, overthinking it, talking to this person and that person. Even if somebody else brought it up, Capricorn, and he's like, well, somebody else brought it up. I wasn't even thinking about them until they brought it up. You, now you just gave it air. In other words, you just gave it power and intellect. You're going to have to learn how to let some people fall in their own flames that they set for you. It's just like you, because they're in survival mode. So for them, it's the survival of the fittest. They didn't already spread a bunch of lies and rumors about you. And so you trying to sit there, trying to reason with someone who is looking at you while their ears are flapping or they, they, they laughing like a hyena or they got this long tail with all this fair, this fur on it. They don't even know they're in human form. Good luck with that. Use your human logical brain. That's what Source is saying. Some energies, you're looking at them in human form, and they're looking at you as, I want to just take this energy out of here. So I definitely see moving forward, you living a better life, a softer life. We have nine of pentacles. Source is making sure you are financially independent, so you don't need these types of energies for anything. Because they constantly are on the hunt. They're predatory energies. And that's what Source is trying to help somebody to see. They will prey on your perceived weakness. When you travel and you go places, that's why people usually will stay at resorts. So they're traveling groups and those kind of things. So you're out in a situation where, okay, I don't really know a whole lot of people. And if you don't know the language, then people are like, okay, I would rather go where I'm safe. From the airport to the resort, right? So some of you all may be doing a lot of traveling. So remember... Karma doesn't miss anybody. You can be on the moon and karma will reach you. So source is saying to you, you're going to have to let people fall into their own pit of fire. 
You're going to have to learn how to let people fall into their own pit of fire. As disappointing as it may be, these energies are trying to cause you a complete and total nightmare. And they're trying to disrupt your, your peace, right? Remember, this is the scales of justice, also scales of balance, trying to disrupt your peace. So source is saying, here we have the, um, the sun card. And so you being in your light will expose their plans, right? And But it'll also show you, you've left a circus. That's right, you've left a bunch of circus clowns. You feel changed, liberated, and free. And that's what you want to impart onto other people. You know, Capricorn, you all are a very hardworking sign. You're a very structured sign. You're an earth sign, and earth signs deal with the physical existence of things. So you don't need to physically, you've already physically seen it before. And so when you, while you're asking yourself the question, why, why did I have to go through all these arguments and fights with these people? That's a great question to ask source because they're, they're fighting their battles within. They're battling their own demons. So you left the clown, the, cir the circus. Here's a, you got enough sword wounds out of your back. See this right here? The sword wounds are out of your back. You've already gone through all that. These people just want war. They want blood. And um, it's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. So here we also have the Queen of Cups here. But here you are on your throne pouring into your cells, pouring water on those open wounds. You're pouring fresh water on those open wounds because they would rather pour acid on these, these, these wounds. Take off the blindfolds before we get to, because I'm telling you, Pluto going retrograde May 2nd, starting May 2nd, it's going to be retrograde for about a, over 150 days. That's going to be, like I said before, the light side of it, you can look at it as this is a very powerful transformation for me. You know, I'm going through this metamorphosis. I'm on the rebirth side, but the dark side is death. The dark side is when you think about something um, breaking through metamorphosis, you don't know how long people have been grieving and it's just ramping up and ramping up and ramping up. So don't let the, the, the uh, rose colored glasses, well, you know, I've moved on from some things. These energies will literally bring the devil out of you. And so source is saying, let them fall in their own fire pit of hell. And that's what I see you doing. That's what I see you doing is letting it while you're nurturing yourself. And so sources said, I'm bringing soulmate energy in your life. Soulmate could be friend, whatever. They will cause you to lose everything. And this is what's, this is at stake here. King of Pentacles, the wealthiest card in the deck. So you don't need to give them any energy, right? Even though, because you've been lamenting and they're lamenting, they're trying to bait you into something. But remember, the seven of cups is you've already had a Kundalini experience. You already saw the snake. You're not trying to see how the venom is going to be, whether it's a venomous snake or a not venomous snake, learn how to see a Kundalini experience when you're listening to how people talk about other people. It's something in them seems like there's some rage. Is it a look in their eyes? If you haven't seen them or talked to them, did they say something over the phone that'll let you know certain things? So again, even though you're a sign that deals with the physical existence of things, also find out what your moon sign is. Your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign, right? I'm looking at this sun card right here. Your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. Yep. Four of cups. I see you operating, you know, I see you kind of, like I said, your wishes are actually being fulfilled in terms of a soulmate, you know, in your life. But there are some energies, like I said before, this is what they want. So you got to move with some kind of strategy. You have to move with some kind of strategy as you're moving through, because this is something you've already gone through, right? You've already gone through this, you know, a bunch of backstabbing energies. You don't want to go through life physically experiencing it before it, before, like you're like, I can't get this. What's wrong with me? It'll literally make you feel powerless and it'll make you feel like you're not intelligent at all. If you don't start listening to the signs. So every time you go through a hurtful experience and then right now would be a great time to do it. Mercury is retrograde. Ask God, why did I have to go through all those painful experiences? What was it meant to teach me? How am I supposed to use that to become a better human being? Am I supposed to increase my knowledge and wisdom? How can I increase my knowledge and wisdom? Do I need to take some classes? Right? And doing the things that nurture my spirit. Remember, your MC would be like a, a career, you know, like a career choice. So pull your birth charts, please, Capricorn, because if you're trying to figure out, am I in the right career? You know, what's my purpose? Why am I here? Maybe being in a career that you feel like you're thriving in is really going to you know, going to help you find your purpose. Ultimately, the purpose of human beings is to become a better human being. Um, 
um, for mankind to ultimately better this planet Earth. That's the overarching theme. But everybody has their own specific um, gifts and talents that's going to help you to get there. So that's what I see for you all. And uh, just staying away from these types of energies because, again, they're on some demon time. And, I'm, and I'm, they're on some kind of, you know, I just want to take them out of here. I'm trying to make them have a nightmare. I'm so angry and frustrated. Learn how to let people fall on their own sword. Let people learn how to fall in their own pit. Let people bury themselves. There's some energies, like I said, the nine of pentacles. Before you get to the nine of anything, you had to go from one through eight, right? You chose to land on the light side of one through eight. So now you're on the light side of the nine of pentacles, right? Your money. So you, what you didn't know before is what you know now. People, are, they took your... They took your kindness for weakness. They thought your kindness, your big heart made you stupid. Somehow people equate being a nice person with not being intellectual. But again, until they fell on their own sword. So like I said, you left the circus behind. And and um, and and so now you're moving forward. So here we have the four of wands. You're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. And like I said, there's two types of energies now. They want to warm up to you. They want to apologize, but it's not sincere. It's a bait and switch. It's a, hey, oh, I heard so-and-so told me such and such. You can defend your decision to move on without even coming across as defensive. I don't care what you heard. Go back to what you heard. You know, so that's what I'm saying for you all. So it's a lot of energies. It's like this. Sources say you're booked and busy, not even burdened at all. And some energies want to, it's two types of energies that want to reach out to you because they're still in a clown situation. They still tethered to their, their trauma when you're living a good life. So sources saying get as far away from them as far as humanly possible. Giddy up. <laughs> Get away from them. That's not your responsibility to get people out of a situation they put themselves and they jump to conclusions about a whole bunch of things. Now they arguing with each other and now they, they trying to figure out how to, you know, warm back up to you because you're financially independent and this you're moving towards this right here. So that's what I'm trying to tell you is that source is breaking up karmic relationships. So if you're financially feeling like you kind of financially stuck. That's because somebody's not praying and meditating and not speaking things into existence, increasing your knowledge. Somebody's just looking at the dark side of things. Here we have the magician card. Again, attached to Mercury. Mercury is currently retrograde. So what you going what kind of wisdom and knowledge are you going to increase? You need to know what a gold digger's energy is. They give it a cold shoulder one time, bounce. I'm out. It's two types of energies that try to play you. Two types of energies that try to play you and you kept warming up to, you know, energies that try to play you, giving you the cold shoulder because somebody had almost gotten used to it. They sat in that fire so long and when somebody give you the cold shoulder or actually, you know, taught you to, what am I trying to say? They tried to treat you like you weren't good enough or that you're not worthy. Somebody started buying into that. So this is where you know your worth and add tax. So I definitely feel like somebody is inspiring themselves to maybe take some classes, go back to school, inspire yourself. But more importantly, I feel like somebody's going to really look up what their Chiron is. So from the people who are new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you're just cruising on by, I, I appreciate all the love. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. But find out what your Chiron is, C-H-I-R-O-N, and start healing that use mercury retrograde it'll be retrograded to the 25th i think it'll go retrograde a couple more times this year um, but it won't be retrograde again until august but use this time where mercury whether it's retrograde or not to increase your knowledge to invest in yourselves use this time to invest in yourself so that you you'll notice here we have the um queen of cups here so yeah so again sources um putting you with people who is like a guardian angel on earth that's in putting you with people that's in, you know, telling you to invest in yourself. They're saying to you, pour into you during this time, pour into you, make every moment count. So be grateful for those people, those angels on earth that's helping you to leave these circus situations and these masks and these clown noses and these distractions behind. Cause that's when they bring out the clowns when it's time to distract everybody from recognizing that you're under this big top, which isn't really that big with all these wild animals and stuff could go left at any moment. Them animals start tearing that whole stuff up and everybody running and racing and popcorn and soda flying everywhere. Sources say some people are in survival mode like that every single day. Get away from them. It doesn't make you tougher or smarter learning how to be in survival. It wasn't even meant for us to be in survival mode. So sources saying use your logical brain 
when you're sitting down with a person or you talking to them and you start getting a lot of anxiety, your chest starts knotting up and you sitting there feeling like, okay, I don't know why I feel like this. Okay. Look up your Chiron. That'll take you right back to that first deep wound so that you can heal that part of yourselves. Um, let's see what else we got. So let's pull a few more cards and let's go ahead and close this out. So this is really, really good looking at your cards here. You definitely left some clown situations behind. You're getting loud, you know, messages loud and clear. Energies want to come back in, you know, and whoever they try to send in, whether they come in directly, which, you know, some of them are bold enough and lost enough in their own wilderness situations to try to approach you directly. But a lot of times they'll try to send somebody else in that's coming as like a peace offering. They'll never come in apologizing. It's always, I heard this, I thought that, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line is that you have so much good... Um, you know, so many wonderful things happening and here you are at your vault door. You cannot give off the scent of fear or anxiety or frustration about it. Anger, all that you get off of that frequency because that will block you from being in your vault door. When you know all the stuff that people were plotting and planning behind your back and people coming back and, oh, you know, I had heard this and did you hear this and that? Click. Nope. You're not bringing me anything, right? Once people give you the cold shoulder as it relates to your reading right here. That's when you want to start praying. Okay, God, what did I do for them to give me the cold shoulder? I know how that feels. Show me what's going on here. There were some energies that only attached to you for what they could get from you, whether it's your, your power and your intellect, your prayer life, and how you pray for people and protect people. You know, when they're in survival situations, it could have been your creativity or your sex. They could have been whatever it is. The moment somebody gives you the cold shoulder, that's a that's a that's a learning moment for you all. When they give you the cold shoulder and you're confused as to why, that's your time to increase your prayer and start saying, OK, God, I'm not sure what's going on. Show me through a reading, a book, anything. Right. You could be reading a book and some, a chapter can come up that reminds you of exactly what's going on in your life at that very moment. Source can use anything in anybody. So if somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. Would I just say they haven't changed? Somebody apologizes for betraying you. Yeah. You have the gift of deja vu. That's remembering the future. That's right. Something should click in your mind when you're in spaces, even if it's with brand new people and you feel some kind of anxiety. Okay, God, what is this? This feels too familiar to me. And I see that's what you're going to be working on, increasing your knowledge. You have the gift of premonition, forewarning. You have, uh, you are who they prayed for, right? Somebody's really not happy without you, but that's not your problem. Drink um, more water. That's a form of self-care and your laughter is medicine. That's what people miss. People are watching you right now and they're like, okay, they seem like they're in really good spirits. I, can, I don't believe what I've been hearing about them. And at first somebody jumped on the bandwagon about you and they believed everything they heard about you because of who they're connected to and what they thought they could get. But now it's not a laughing matter. It could have literally gotten you killed. Now, who's laughing at that? That's not funny at all. That's not people running around here spreading rumors and lies about people and could get people seriously hurt and injured. Then everybody be like, oh, my God, I had no, but what happened? Because I heard this and I heard it's too much. I heard going on. Get away from that kind of discussion. 44, I am supported. That's right. You got a lot of, that's what I've been telling y'all. You got a lot of ancestors around. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. There's so many compete. There's so many confused people out here. They believe anything they hear negative about people. They don't know people. They just jump on a bandwagon to take them off of the, out of the misery that they're going through sources. Like get away from those people. You got too much you got too many wonderful blessings coming your way. Yeah. So source definitely is pairing you with some people that's encouraging you to pour into yourself and, and you're in a whole new community. It's already taking care of itself. So whatever it is that you've been doing, some people fell in their flames that they set for you. They fell in their lies and their manipulation. They came across the wrong person. They try to manipulate emotional manipulation all because you have a, you're a prayer warrior and somebody prayed on you. So source is saying to you, not again, not again. So this is a, this is a learning moment during Mercury retrograde. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. The chariot card. Like I said, hashtag winning. You winning in life. I see somebody getting married. I see somebody getting married in business and in love. There it is. Chariot card again. ka, -ching, ka -ching. It's like two for two, two types of energies. And it's, it could be connected to a lot of people, but it's two types of energies that try to disrupt 
your peace and your happiness. They try to turn your smile into a frown in some way, shape, form, or fashion by thinking that they're going to tighten the screws and turn up the heat. Y'all better learn how to let people fall in their own fire pit. Three of Wands. So, source is saying, take a leap of faith forward. Get away from them. You got a lot of opportunities coming in. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. You've been working hard, and sources that don't need spending a whole lot of time on it. We got Ten of Pentacles. You got you got vault door. You're already inside your vault door. So start thinking about who you want to build a legacy with. People do, who don't know how to use their element to inspire and motivate people. The other only option is for them to pe pe keep people in a state of confusion, tie people to their narcissism, tie people to their feelings of low self-worth, and that's what they were recruiting for, to tie you into some mess. Nope. Mm-mm. So congratulations, you on the other side. Close out the cycle. This is the world card. That's right, close it out. You change, liberated, and free from the circus. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Because even if you're even if you got a bunch of family members that's showing up and showing out and acting out, that just doesn't work for you all. Because again, you all are family is important to you all. Like family relationships are very important to you all. It would have just left you all in a further state of confusion. It's like this isn't really helping anybody. You know, and it just would have brought the worst out of you. So sometimes you gotta learn how to let people fall in their own pit. Work through your fears. A Scorpio could have had something to do with something too, because like I'm trying to tell you, there's some people, you know, like I said, it could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it's a double win for you. And source is saying to you, there are some people that to the death of them, they won't get you back. And if you don't learn that and you say, when I've moved on with my life and they, I, I didn't know they were still holding on to a grudge, you're going to have to learn, take those blindfolds off. There are some signs they are wired that way, that when they feel like they're in revenge mode, it's to the death of them. Stay out of their way. They vengeful to the end, like they are truly possessed. And you can look at it as like, well, people change. Yeah, people do change. You change. You focus on your change and that's it. That's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next reading. You already have the questions for the moon and Leo, so I'm not going to inundate you with those. But that's what I have for you. It's a double win for somebody. And you just, like I said, keep your vibrations high. Keep your vibrations high. And um, sources say there's some people who are pretty upset and they arguing and they mad at each other right now because it is a win for you. And source got you away from some things and put people in your place to help you to start pouring in more into yourself, into your education, into your prayer life, into your meditation life. And so somebody could be in good spirits right now, but keep it that way. Continue on this journey of a soft life. This is the year of wealth, but I'm telling you, a lot of karmic relationships are coming to an end. And that's why there's some people who were setting you up. They fighting, I mean, uh, wands just swinging. You left the circus a long time ago. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.